in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From this faith, no one can shake us, neither angels nor men, neither sword nor fire, nor water, nor any kind of cruel torture. Yerishev, 5th century historian. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this week is full of religious and national festivities. Saint Revontians on Tuesday, Saint Vartanans Day on Thursday, and Pum Paregentan, and the Lord's presentation to the temple today. Today, we officially enter the great, the great land for 40 days fasting. The altar curtain will be closed for 40 consecutive days, symbolizing humanity's journey in the darkness. It will be opened again on Palm Sunday to welcome the light of the world, the Savior of mankind. During the Lenten period, there will be no kiss of peace, no offering of Holy Communion, and the Holy Gospel book will not be venerated. Of course, this is arranged thus to show the period of humankind's history prior to the coming of the Redeemer. Today's message I shall dedicate to the holy martyrs of Saint Vartan and his companions. Each time we cite the name Vartan Mamigonyan, the year 451 comes to our mind. It's the year when our nation faced enormous tribulations at the hands of the Persian Sassanid monarchy. He launched a merciless stream of persecution against Armenian Christians in their homeland. His intent was to disenfranchise them of their freedom of will to worship as Christians. Vartan and his warriors although vastly outnumbered, led a heroic national struggle in defense of their homeland. They chose to stand against the tyranny of a monarch whose sole intent was to deny the Armenians their God-given right to worship as Christians. Vartan and his army gained moral strength and courage from the endless, unflinching public support of rank-and-file citizens. Their rallying cry was, no power in this world can shake us from our faith and from the love of our homeland. As Yerishe, the 5th century historian, said about his brave and beloved Armenian people, Faith in the minds and spirits of our faithful people was not a mere shirt to toss it off and to exchange it with another one. On the contrary, faith is our skin, our body and blood that protects and maintains our very essence. For those who might not know, the Battle of Avarai Plain was the first battle in world history where a whole nation stood unanimously against a more powerful state, a superpower in those days, to protect against assimilation and the right to practice their Christian religion. The mighty Persian monarch, with his strong army, planned in detail how they would conquer Armenia and force its people to deny Christ and embrace their fire-worshipping pagan faith. But thankfully, brave Vartan and his companions knowingly and voluntarily marched towards the oppressor and certain death in defense of their right 
to be Christian nation. This episode in the history of the Armenian nation still lives in the hearts and minds of Armenians, young and adult alike. Certainly, it will be remembered by every Armenian child born to this world. For that reason, Yerisha, the 5th century historian, would write in the aftermath of the battle, it was not a mere death that they embraced unknowingly. On the contrary, they knowingly gave their lives. They knew that their sacrifice would not be in vain. And indeed, they have been immortalized forever. Gloriously, their sacrifice and spirit still lives on and will continue to live from generation to generation in the mind and heart of every Armenian that walks this earth. On the last Sunday of September 2020, early in the morning, our historic homeland, Artsakh, was once again wantonly attacked by a non-Christian oppressor. They savagely bombarded cities and villages and in the process killed innocent civilians. This savage attack is somewhat reminiscent of the historic battle of Avarai, which we just reviewed. In both its instances, the intent was to deprive Armenians of their right to practice their religion. This war, in which the enemy once again vastly outnumbered the under-equipped Armenian forces, raged on for 44 days. It's another heroic David vs. Goliath battle that will be remembered by generations yet unborn. Today, when our hearts are saddened because of our losses suffered in the Artsakh war, it is particularly important to remind ourselves of the gallantry of our compatriots. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that future generations will be protected from future attacks aimed at destroying our Christian nation and our Christian heritage. May the spirits of our saints inspire us especially during these challenging days. God shall not turn a blind eye toward those who call, who call out to him. Glory to God, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.